We're joined here this evening by Siobhan O'Callaghan from Calbo's Cafe. And anyone, I suppose, that has ever visited West Cork or Skibbereen will have visited Calbo's and know the great work that Siobhan does. Uh, it's one of the, the top places to, to go visit and eat in, in West Cork. So we're here with Siobhan and what are you going to do? I'm Siobhan? going to make a Moroccan chicken dish. Um, we're keeping everything as much as we can low fat in keeping with the uh, healthy eating. All good, healthy, yeah. fresh food yeah, made from scratch. absolutely. We've okay. got some Shannon Vale chicken. Um, we're going to put some spices, um, which are very good for your health at the moment. If you're taking up some new exercises, there's a lot of ginger, there's turmeric, there's cumin. These are all very good for inflammation. Okay. Um, we're using some butternut squash, which is in season at the moment. And we're going to make up a sauce here, which is a paste of tomatoes, ginger, garlic, all the good stuff. And everything you use in the in the restaurant as well, Siobhan, it's all in season and local, as that's local what, as you can get it as well. That's what we aim for, yeah. Yeah, yeah that would be the usual. So, so will I start? Do. Very good. So I've got my pan here. I'm going to heat it up. I'm going to put some olive oil in. I'm going to fry off the chicken. What we've used here today is some chicken breast, but you can use chicken thighs as well, which will keep it keep your costs down as well. Now I better get the and ring chicken right. thighs, can they be done in the pan? Then? They can be done in the pan as well. Um, there's also an option if you're busy working mum or dad, you can um, put in your slow cooker. And you come home in the evening. Yeah, yeah and come home in the evening, it's all ready for you. Just put all the ingredients in. Okay. So we're just going to brown off the chicken here now. Then we'll take the chicken out of the pan when it's browned. And we will fry off um, this paste that I've made up with tomato, yeah. ginger, uh, garlic and onion. Right. So okay. we'll fry and that you up. you do this in a food I processor? Just, I, all food. I did was a small little food processor, yeah, just some fresh tomato, chopped up the ginger rough, chopped up the onion rough, yeah, and, and just the cloves of garlic whole. Okay, lovely. And you better keeping the chicken in thicker pieces? I have because uh, by the time um, all your sauce is cooked up. You don't want to have your chicken too small because it'll have disintegrated quite a bit. Okay. So, so you take the chicken out and you put the chicken. I'm just to one going side. to put the chicken to one side. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's all you're doing really is sealing it. Right. And this. Um, is a recipe it, it would feed four adults. It small, would feed it? four, yes. Okay. And um, I'm going to make up some uh, couscous later just to serve it with, but you could serve it with rice as well if you. For gluten free options. Yeah, okay. yeah. The couscous okay. has wheat, so that doesn't suit uh, celiacs, okay. but you could serve it on rice okay. as well. So now we're going to fry off the onion um, until it's soft. And you need a good hot pan for this. Nice hot pan, yeah. If you need to add a little bit more oil, you can do. Right. Um, just fry them till they're and softened. The olive and then oil the best thing? Um, well, I suppose the olive oil, you c it reaches a temperature uh, that butter won't reach. Um, and it's better for you than regular um, vegetable oil. Right. So these spices I'm using, I've got a mixture of some cumin some coriander all ground, I've got some uh, cinnamon and I've got a teaspoon of turmeric. turmeric. Okay, so these need to be, um, you need to fry them off to kind of extract the, the flavours from the spices. Okay. So I'm going to add them in once the onions have softened a bit. So how much of, uh, is there So there's a, there's a tablespoon of each of the, mm -hmm. the cumin the coriander and the cinnamon is a tablespoon and there's just a teaspoon of the turmeric. The it's turmeric can be quite strong, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so uh, just don't be too heavy handed with that. But it is, it has a lovely flavour too and they all, they all go it's great like a together. wonder spice, isn't it? It is, it is, yeah. it really is at the moment. It's, uh, it's used turmeric for everything, yeah. And yeah. yeah. Okay, small problem. Um, so I'm going to add in the spices here now. A tablespoon of each. Yeah. And these are yeah. just spices that like, yeah. everyone should really have in the They kitchen should anyway, have, yeah, absolutely, cooking. yeah. That's oh, beautiful. Just turn down my temperature a small little bit. Just going to fry these off. 
it's a, it looks quite spice heavy there. Yeah, now, it is. Yeah. It is, and you can. We can't. Uh, Get the, the camera so to smell that. it, but yeah. it's absolutely it beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> so I'm going to add in the paste now, and we'll cook this for a while. Oh, well. So the paste again, like how much of? Um, so in this, I have 50 kick grams kick. of 50 grams of ginger. Okay. I have three cloves of garlic. I have one onion, and I have um, three small tomatoes in it. Okay. So it's just. Getting all your lovely flavours there. Beautiful. Just you can't beat just that fresh, everything, fresh ingredients and made from scratch, you can't beat it. And it's all ingredients well, that are easy to get. Yeah. So I'm just going to add a chicken stock. Um, as all I've used is a basic chicken stock cube. If you have the time, to make up your own um, chicken stock, well, very good, especially if you have roasted chicken and you've used the bones. Just boil it all down. What it is, is 600 uh, millilitres of chicken stock is what I've used. Okay. And c you could use vegetable stock if you, you want could, to make this vegetarian. You could, if well. you wanted to make a vegetarian, you make up your sauce like this and you can add in maybe some courgettes, some peppers, whatever vegetables, but you can cook them in the sauce. Okay. And just use the vegetable uh, stock. So are you getting the lovely smells there now? Yeah, yeah. It's gorgeous. Yeah, so I'm going to add in my stock. Chicken here now to yes. it. Okay. And it's a really cost effective dish to make as well. There's nothing, as you say, all the ingredients are easily bought in local yep. shops and the spices are aren't expensive mm -hmm. and they last for a long time they do, yeah. in your cupboard and they're great for adding to other dishes. I'm just gonna add yep. in. Butternut squash. Um, you can also maybe use sweet potato. Okay. The sweet potato cooks a little bit faster than the squash, so uh, you might just want to hold off for a little bit um, before adding the sweet potato okay. if you wanted to use sweet Gorgeous potato. The smell is just divine. <laughs> I'm just going to add two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. And also some brown sugar. It's just two tablespoons of brown sugar. Okay. If you're so again, that's not much when it's, it's not, four people. It's not. It's not. And yeah. if you you can cut back on that if you're watching your sugar intake. Okay. Now, yeah, so that takes about thirty minutes on simmer. On simmer, yeah. yeah. And uh, just you want your sauce to thicken up a little bit, and then at the end we'll check it for a little bit of salt and pepper if it needs it. It may not need it with all the spices and okay. the stock and everything. It smells gorgeous. So we're going to put a lid on that now. And that's great even for entertaining. You can have all the work done and if you guests come over, you can just sit down and have a glass of wine. Sit down and have a glass of wine, come back and Very good. Right after. Okay. okay, so we're just going to make up the couscous um, that we'll serve our uh, Moroccan chicken dish with. Right. So couscous is very fast because all you have to do is add boiling water, leave it um, soak for about five or six minutes okay. and then just fluff it up and you can put uh, some herbs through it or yep. um, some more spices if you want but because we've got enough kind of going on with our dish tonight we're leave going to plain. leave this plain. Okay. But you can chop up some um, bit of fresh mint, bit of fresh coriander, maybe a bit of fresh basil and stir too. Lovely. Um, so I've just put a little bit of olive oil just to keep it from sticking. Right. Um, so that's the trick. That's my that's trick anyway. Okay. <laughs> that's my trick. Yeah. Um, we had a French girl working with us one time and she taught me that trick so uh, I've okay. used it ever since. And it worked. So I'm just going to just cover it with the boiling water and then I'll just give it a quick stir around. Do you need to cover it then? Uh, yeah, and just um, what I'll do is I'll just put a bit of salt and pepper in it there. 
and uh, we'll just give it another little stir around. I'll leave it stand, but it's ideally, you can wrap your bowl in cling film. Right. Or what I'll do is I'll just sit a plate on top of it and keep the steam in. Okay. And just about 10 minutes. Just minutes leave back. it, yeah, till it's all soaked up the water and we're gonna fluff it up then and we will serve Ready our chicken on it, yeah. Lovely. So then, um, to make this fancy, I know it's not what you do for every day, um, dinner at home, but if you wanted to make this fancy, maybe for some friends calling around, what I'll do is I'm going to serve it in a minute with some um, crumbled feta cheese. Oh, I've lovely. used a feta cheese I've got from um, McCroom Dairies. Okay. I'm going to sprinkle that on top with some chopped mint and some lemon zest. Gorgeous. Just makes it a little bit fancier okay. if you. And if you don't want to get in trouble with your Operation Transformation Leader or whatever, yeah. you can you opt can, to leave, you out can the leave that out. Okay. You can leave the cheese out. Feta cheese can be high in salt, so okay. if people are watching their salt intake, okay. you could leave it out. Perfect. But zesty lemon won't hurt Can anyone to be good for you. Add a bit of fresh mint. Okay. There's Lovely. A, oh, both of those are fat free and salt free. Very so. good. A little unsure if your um, chicken is cooked, you can pick out one of the bigger pieces and just um, cut it down and see that it's cooked through. It's perfect. And it's perfect. So we're going to put that back in and just check that your squash is cooked and it's lovely so you don't um, want it too mushy or something no anyway. you don't you don't so now i'm going to add in some um dried cherries okay. and um an alternative would be maybe some dried cranberries or you could maybe put some chopped dates okay would um, you suggest cherries are best for this um really yeah matter? they're just they're a nice they're a nice addition okay. if you feel that the dried fruit is adding more sugar to your dish then you can leave it out yeah. if you are watching your sugar content because dried fruit can yeah. um, have a high sugar content. So I'm just going to leave them cooked through and my sauce to thicken another little bit. Um, I'm going to fluff up my couscous and I will get my toppings ready for serving with Great. it as well. So mm -hmm. now um, the couscous is still warm enough from the boiling uh, water that went into it. So I'm just going to put the couscous here. And there's no specific amount per person, it's just like, is there a guideline as to how much couscous per Um per There's not, month? so we've used, uh, here there's 175 grams I've used, um, there's definitely two to three portions okay. in that, Perfect. Um, with the 250 mils right. of boiling water. So I'm going to turn that off. Serve that up there now. Smells gorgeous anyway. Yeah. Oh. Plenty sauce there now with it. Your cherries and a little bit of squash. On top of this now, I'm just going to do a few little sprinkles of my feta cheese. And again, you can opt to leave you that out. You can leave it out if you feel it's too too much fat. I'm just going to do some fresh mint on top of this now. I'm just going to put some nice lemon zest on top. Oh, looks beautiful. Okay, so all the colours are beautiful there now too. Alright. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Excellent.